Welcome or welcome back on I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to look to find cosine and cotangent of an angle for which the sine is one for and tangent is negative. And first of all, we want to find out where that angle is located. Is that angle in quadrant one, two, three, and four? And for that reason, let's go back a little bit to sine. Sine of an angle is defined as y over r. r being always positive is the distance from uh, that point to the origin. And y is the y coordinate. Right? The only time when the sign is positive when y is positive. So that will be quadrant 1 and 2. We're going to do the same for tangent. Tangent of theta, which is defined as y over x. When is this one? Uh, negative. Right. On this one, we can have y positive x negative or y negative y positive, and then we get a negative tangent. That means the y and x are opposite. That happens in what quadrant? Quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. And looking now to the picture, we notice we're looking for an angle in quadrant 2 because that's the only time when the sign is positive, tangent is negative. So I'm going to do the picture, and I'm going to draw an angle in quadrant 2. Initial side, terminal side, let's pick a point P here, and now we're going to look again to sine. Sine is 1 over 4. That means R is 4, and this guy is 1, right? So what we need to find out is the x-coordinate of this point, and we're going to use Pythagorean theorem, right? Okay, so we have a square plus b square equals c square. We're going to have 1 square plus x square equals 4 square. 1 plus x square equals 16. x square equals 15. And now this dx is going to be square root of 15. Now, you need to be careful because this going back in, in uh, this picture, we notice x needs to be negative, right? So the coordinate of the point P, in fact, are going to be negative square root of 15 and 1. And of course, we're going to need also that R of 4. Okay. So now we can write whatever they need, which is cos or sine of theta is defined as x, x over R. Okay. R is nothing else than 4. So in this case, cosine of theta is uh, negative square root of 15 over 4. And we have one more, which is cotangent. Cotangent is defined as x over y. Okay, looking to, back to point P, x is negative square root of 15, y is 1. So the final answer we can simplify is negative square root of 15. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square or more math.